Hey guys, doing uh, Randy Richard in the shop. In the previous video, there I mentioned a, and showed the uh, unpacking of the X car from in uh, Vetables. And uh, I, you can see behind me here, it's all together, all done. So uh, we're gonna start a little series here. It's probably gonna be two or three videos, and uh, uh, of me putting this together, getting it built, and the issues I ran into. And things like that and a little wrap up at the end with uh, uh, my opinion uh, of the machine so uh, let's get to it and uh, let's build this thing okay first part on the uh, putting get together the X carve from Inventables and uh, what I've done is I reviewed the video online and I read the instructions so you know that can really help out speed up the uh, whole process here. What I've done actually is I've emptied the little bag that so things are comes in little ziplocs, and I've just thrown them in some cans here, uh, so things are easy to get to and easier to grab. I don't have to waste my time. I just sat down and did it. So we're gonna put on the uh, smooth idlers. These do holes here, spacer, screw spacer. Nice uh, roller bearings. I'm impressed with these. They, they use double bearings in there. And they go on a certain way, uh, so we've got a particular direction and a nylock nut. Now, if you've got big hands, this is a little bit tight. Okay, and the, and the bear, this, the smooth idler goes in a certain way. The uh, spacer and then the idler the bearing sticks out a little bit goes on top of that and i got my tools out already so uh, that makes it a little easier now uh, it's kind of a pain in the ass using uh, allen wrenches so we're going to go get some t-handle ones That's one inside. And then we'll do this other one the other one side. Screw spacer bearing nut. So I got a T handle the uh, Allen wrench, make it a little easier. But they have the appropriate tools. I'm making them. I'm making them tight. There. Okay. All right. Next, we're going to do uh, the V wheels. Now they are symmetrical, so it's not mattering which direction you uh, put them on. And I've set all the parts out again. Uh, the nylon, four nut with nylocks, four were with an eccentric nut with the hole is like all center, so it's a cam action. And uh, some washers. There's a uh, four holes, uh, two, two, and two and two. Uh, smaller holes, larger holes, larger holes get the eccentrics. Pretty simple. <laughs> they all go in the same way. Uh, basically, a screw washer bearing nut they all take the same size uh, allen a three millimeter and we'll make it tight Okay, I'll go through and put all those in. 
Okay, we got those four in, and now we're going to do the uh, eccentric one. Now these kind of go a little bit different. It's a screw bearing washer, and then in, and then the nut. Now these have a shoulder on there. And that shoulder needs to be seated in that hole as an eccentric. So you need to take that down there like that, making sure that that shoulder's in there. Then you also want to position this so that the, the thinnest part is down here so that the cam is the lowest. And I think that's the, probably when we get to it there, that'll be the, so we can put it on and then adjust it. So we won't make those too tight. All right, I'll go through and put the rest in. Okay, all the V-rollers are in, the smooth rollers, all set. All the cam nuts, all set. Next step. Okay, we're gonna put a stepper motor on. And it's gonna go on here in this orientation with the wires down. Uh, pretty simple here. First, we gotta get a pulley, two set screws, very tiny, just a couple millimeters. Each pulley takes two. There's only one flat on the shaft, so we'll align one of those pulley, one of those with the with the uh, set screw and flush on the end of the shaft. And we might have to reposition this a little bit, so we're we're just to uh, just kind of just make them so it won't fall off for now. These are threaded on here on the frame. So screws go through there and into the frame. And we'll get them all started. Tighten. So we start tighten diagonal. Uh, there's always the best. First, a light cinch. Be good. see why they uh, I can see how they align it they say all the way on there but uh, if they should probably be going against line up with the smooth rollers but anyway we'll uh, follow the instructions okay we're gonna attach the uh, it says the mail in and there is no separate piece like they show but uh, this probably snaps off oh it does so we just remove it from the, the drag chain there and to attach it and uh, oh. Oops.
you might have to adjust the angle of that and see how travel is. And you put a terminal strip on. Okay. On to the limit switches. This is the uh, X axis limit switch. Now these are kind of pretty small screws. Uh, M, sorry here, uh, M2s, uh, so they're tiny little things. So you gotta be kind of careful. They are tiny. Okay, 